Welcome to this episode of the Million Dollar Mastermind. I'm Larry Wydell, and before we get started, if you want to know exactly how to win again and again, go to wydellonwinning.com forward slash webinar now to watch something I've put together for you. Now let's get going into this episode of Million Dollar Mastermind. I'm back with David Landrum, and we're going to uh, follow up on some, something. David has very graciously decided to uh, give me a few more minutes and talk about a statement he said on the last, our third episode, and that is, if he said, uh, if you persevere, you'll always break through, and if you break through, you'll never regret it, or at least that's what he's found in his own life, and David, that's pretty profound and you found that, you said, pretty much after you found the other, where that light bulb came to you, where you were in the hot tub about the life of purpose and passion is better than, uh, what is it? The, the, it's better than life of leisure and pleasure. Yeah. So, you know, that, that purpose and passion, you know, is, uh, you know, just, uh, you know, I, I just found that the, I'm, you know, I just, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're put here for a reason, right? yeah. we, you know, and you know, the thing that hit me too, Larry, man, everybody's important, right? Everybody has value. As a matter of fact, there's only, there's only typically about three maximum four generations living at any one time. Yeah. And so man, your generation, whatever, whichever one you're in, buddy, it's important. Yeah. It's only about three or four living at a time on earth and on all of earth. And, and man, we've been going a long time and uh, hopefully we can continue on in the future. And so, man, we're important. There's a reason we're here and uh, that we can go out there while we are here and, um, make things better. And, you know, even if you're in the later, like me, I'm in the fourth quarter, right? Yeah. I mean, I started when I was in college. Of course, I was later going to college because of the three years in the military. But, uh, you know, when I started in my financial business, I was 24. And uh, man, I'm, uh, I'll am i be 67 in uh, October. <laughs> so, uh, you know, that's uh, my, my so I'm in the fourth quarter of life. Well, but that's important because, man, being able to share and teach the younger generation and those lessons that, as you mentioned earlier, that, man, what if what if they can, you know, you can learn by experience or instruction. Yeah. Man, so instruction is, uh, is a great, is a great teacher. Can save you a lot of, uh, can save you a lot of, years a lot of uh, you know uh, i don't know a lot of a uh, lot of pain and mistakes talk, talk about where did you obviously lessons these phrases about you know persevering what are things that you've had to just hang in there uh and you're you're never challenged to persevere unless it's something that you're tempted to give up on and, and you're never tempted to give up on something that's just working left and right, you know, success. Is, it's always the stuff that's just bogged down in the mud, you know, and it's just everything you try, it gets bogged down deeper. And that's when you get to the point of, uh, I've tried everything I know to try. It's not working. And why, you know, at some point, I got to go do something else. But why, yeah. when you talk about, and that's that's the decision uh, uh, to make is uh, when is it stupid to keep trying? When is it uh, important to just lock down and say to yourself, I got to get better. I got to get more help. I got to come all, you know, I need a fresh idea. I got to regroup, like you say, get, you know, get, get somebody to come in from the outside and reassess, but uh, or just say, this is a lost cause and move on to something more productive. How do you, uh, what, when you look back in your life, when uh, you're in a, talking to those college students 
uh, when, and they were at, would ask you, what are some that you can look back on? You've never regretted persevering. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> you know, the thing, the thing that I, that I believe is <clears throat> when you, when you think about, you know, persevering and, you know, naturally you, you want to make sure you get good counsel, but at the same time, I mean, I know when I started my business, you know, there were no cheerleaders. I mean, Jill was not happy about me being at the club full-time, going to school full-time, had just gotten married. Then I start something on the side in the financial field. But then, uh, cause she had our life mapped out. Her dad worked, worked in the oil business. We were gonna move to Dallas, have 2.3 kids, dog, cat, management program with Halliburton, right? That was uh, their game plan for me. But, uh, but I felt the, the more I started doing, I was kind of, when I got in the financial field, I said, man, you know, money never goes out of style, right? right. It was popular then, it's popular now. And being able to uh, do that and work my own hours, my own boss, no quotas, be an entrepreneur, no inventory, no franchise fee, um, you know, payroll. And, you know, I just saw that the, the freedom, I, I remember my first office I ever opened, my total overhead, I'd been in four months, my total business overhead was Jill quit the bank and uh, was my assistant. So we built it together. By the way, that's another key thing of partnership. If you do have a, a, a spouse to, to really build a family business, but our, our total overhead was 500 a month. <laughs> so really? anything, the, the health club that I was running, I had to bring in 9,000 a month. Oh, before, okay. before I could pay the owner a dime. So when I looked at this, but, um, but anyway, so on, on the, uh, as far